Hi, Blanky. How are you, girl? Hi, Blanky. Hello, good, good evening. Good evening. Let me see your beautiful face. I'm going to try my, my we'll internet. Do your best. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try it. Do your best. Yay! Finally, long time we don't see you. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. How was your day? So far, is it good? Very busy, but uh, wow. I finished well. Really? That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, for me, it's, it's great. Yesterday was a bad day. Really? I, I felt. I felt, I don't know, sick. Help. Yeah, sick. Uh, okay. Yeah, you don't, you don't, uh, you didn't feel quite well yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes when we work. have a lot of work or a lot of pressure and everything, we don't feel so good, right? Yeah, and the traffic, uh, everything is, is, is a mess up when yeah. you feel, when you yeah. feel bad. Yes, because you would like to arrive home, right? Oh my God! Yeah. But did you feel much better uh, after that, or did you take any pills and a nap? I don't know. No, uh, I think that for me it's more healthy to take uh, a long nap. It's healthier. Yeah, take a long helps. nap. Oh yes. For example, we're under too much pressure. If our body says, "Hey, you gotta go to sleep." You have to say you gotta go to sleep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, to recharge I, batteries, I, I, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's the best option for me. Oh yes, definitely. Now <laughs> I, I think that now you feel a little bit much better, right? Yeah, that's okay. right. I'm so happy that you do the uh, extra effort to be in today's class. That's amazing because we missed you uh, yesterday, definitely. Yeah. And I thought it would be one on one session, but guess what? We had two beautiful, handsome boys today, William and Jose, who has recently joined today's class. Yeah, you know, I love William. I don't know about you, Blanquita, but I love William's background. I love it because that makes me feel relaxed, right? Hi, Hi sir. Good evening. Yeah, I feel like I'm on the beach summertime when the weather is fine. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, always. I like it. always cool. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, but today I feel a little bit chilly. You know what chilly is? Chilly, no, sorry. kind of cold, chilly, like, ah, this. Yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe because I have, I recently have uh, taken like um, a shower. <laughs> that could be. Because today has it has been a really hot day, right? Yeah, but now it's fresh. Yeah, it's really nice. I love the weather, but sometimes that's what it causes, like some sinus problems and some like allergy things, right? Because of the dust is so drastic. Weather changes. Yeah, the changes. Mm -hmm. Hey, so uh, you haven't eaten. You are not eating your uh, watermelon. Why not? Um, not I just uh, have my my dinner. Oh, that's the reason why. Okay, and because it's it's, it's cold, right? So I think you will see, later on. We will see you with a cup of tea, right? Or a cup yeah. of coffee, right? That's for <laughs> sure. Yeah, uh -huh. definitely. You know what? <laughs> I need to tell you a story, guys, that had happened to me today. With with uh, at the same time, it was like, eh, but that now it makes me laugh. <laughs> but well, welcome to Erwin, Amelia, Josue, Kenya, Madeline, Yoshi. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? This is the second time that it happens to me. Uh, well, <laughs> today um, on lunchtime, I prepare some uh, ch chicken curry. Yeah, which is uh, based on um, the bell peppers, you know, turmeric, cashew, uh, some salt, pepper, and uh, onions and things like that, right? You know what, would you know what turmeric is? 
No? To medic? No? You don't know what does it mean? No, miss. No, that means curcuma. So basically, I prepare like a chicken in curry, right? In curry, because I have curry. Because I love to prepare like some kind of um, international dishes. <laughs> but, well, I have my portion at lunchtime and my husband also. And we left the the spot right with the chicken and everything on the table and guess what when we arrived there was no chicken anymore guess who ate it guess your pet exactly your pet. <laughs> and i was like I, I, I asked my husband, I said, hey, come here, come here, what? Look, the bell peppers are on the floor. The, the, the spot was open and there was no chicken anymore. <laughs> so I don't know if the recipe is really sophisticated and it's really delicious, but to be honest, we feel they ate it, all of it, all of it. Can you imagine that? So I do not have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> because of my babies yeah and that was the first that's the second time last time uh there was a friend of us who also uh shared with us a grill or, or or a roast chicken a roast chicken which is really delicious and we left it as well again on the table cover and everything guess what when we came back there was not even one bone left they ate it completely, but completed, I mean, completely. Can you imagine? So terrible, Miss. <laughs> yeah, so I do not have dinner because of my babies. <laughs> my husband, they like, right, both of them. But in my case, no, I'm laughing. I'm still laughing. <laughs> so they already have their dinner. Hopefully, they do not get sick. Uh, maybe after class, I will provide it like a one olive oil, oil, olive teaspoon just for that digestion problems, just in case something happens. <laughs> Do you understand, Doris, what happened? Oh, Erwin? Yes. Did you understand, yes. Erwin, what happened to me today? No, right? No? You did or you don't? More uh, voy a contar, pues, voy, I'm going to practice my Spanish with you. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. uh, hoy en el, en el lunch hice un, um, como un platillo de pollo al curry, right? Pollo al curry. And uh, yo le pongo turmeric, que significa cúrcuma, right? Le pongo onion, cebolla, bell peppers, que son los, los chiles de colores, los, los que le dicen ají, acá. Um, onions, que son cebollas, right? Pero a mí me gusta la red onion, la cebolla morada, red onion. Um, le puse cashew, que el cashew son semillas de marañón. Cashew, si se dice semilla de marañón. Uh, sal, pepper, sal, pimienta, garlic, etc. ¿Verdad? Lo hice todo bien rico, me quedó. No es por nada. Mi esposo se lo comió también. Pero había quedado parte y buena parte del pollo sobre la mesa del comedor. Y mis queridos bebés, hoy que vengo de regreso, ya no hay pollo. Como se dice en buen salvadoreño, se lo zumbaron todo. Can you imagine that? Entonces yo me estoy matando de la risa porque me dejaron sin cena. Y es la, segu y es la segunda vez que se comen un pollo. La vez pasada se comieron un pollo rostizado enterito. Pero ni siquiera un hueso dejaron. Así que bueno, ni modo. Voy a ver qué preparo después. Can you imagine, Erwin? Yes, teacher. So I'm laughing. I'm laughing because that makes me, that, I don't know, but that makes me feel happy. I don't know. You know, just crazy. And you know what? They look at me like, oh my God, we did something wrong, but hopefully you don't get mad, right? I, that's, well, that's okay. It's part of the process. So that makes me feel, I don't know, but it's funny for me. It's funny. <laughs> They're just crazy, right? And they are here like nothing happens. It, 
Who has pets? Uh, I think Kenya, right? Kenya, you had a pet. You have a cat, right? Yes. Tell uh, us something. Did your cat have done something incredible to you? No, he is a, he's a good boy. <laughs> he's a good boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Who has dogs here? I think William, right? No, you do have a dog? No, I don't have. You dogs. don't? Yoshi, who has dogs here? Doris, I don't know, Fernando. I have a, a, a Doris, cat. you have a dog? No, cat. A cat. And, yeah. and does your cat has done something to you? Yes. She uh, was oh, a girl, broke, okay. Broke my 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 sofas. Uh, no kidding. Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Ooh. Yes, very because they're like <laughs> Yeah, I know that. But I love the cats. I love them. Mm -hmm. You know what? I have a, I have a piece of wood outside the no in front of the front yard and the cat uses to do like this yes yep mm -hmm. so maybe you should uh i don't know look for a piece of wood that might help yes i have a, a new you have a new what new sofa new sofa <laughs> <laughs> hopefully nothing happens with the new sofa right yes mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> Who else has uh, uh, pets besides Doris and, and Amelia? Do you have pets, Talmita, Fernando? I don't know, Madeline? Uh, yes, I have. I have a dog. You have a dog? Uh, uh, or is a, is a baby boy a baby girl? Uh, it's, a, it's a boy. It's a boy. And how old is him? He is uh, four years old. Oh, well, it's still young, right? Yes, adult, yeah. adult dog. And uh, well, yes, when they became like one year, right? They considered adults, I think. Yes. Four plus seven, it's not four by seven. It's 28, right? No. Maybe. No. I, I, uh, and, um, I don't know what was the conversion to human to dog. I don't know. <laughs> I think it every year for dogs equals to seven years of human. So yeah, 28 right, well, years, 28 years. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so he's still younger. Hey, he's close to William's age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my God. But my dogs are younger. Well, I older than me. Whiskey's older than me. Just not now. Just just too younger. All right, you're very good. So I was telling Fernando that today I I do not have a dinner because my babies ate my dinner. They ate that that completely chicken. Who was who was that? Basically, it was my husband's fault <laughs> because he left the pan with the the chicken and the uh, all prepared on the on the table, but it was covered, right? Uh -huh. But we never, never um, have thought that this could happen again because it already had happened once. Mm. So I don't have dinner. <laughs> I think I got to prepare like a sandwich or something like that with a cup of coffee and that will, or a cup of tea, right? And that will be basically my dinner. <laughs> well, never mind. Yeah. Hey, tell me, how was your day today, guys? Did you do something special today? No, no really. a regular daily basis. Tired. tired, tired. Yes, I don't know why, but Mondays. No, we are Tuesdays, right? Today's Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. You know what? I thought that today was Wednesday. I don't know why. I think because uh, it's already close to my vacation. That could be the reason why. Yeah, but, but today is Tuesday. I don't know why, but Tuesdays and Wednesdays sometimes they're really like <sighs> tired, right? Yeah, I don't know why, but those days of the week, like, I yeah. know. Oh, and imagine the traffic. Oof. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, do you know how do you say, for example, when you are in a really traffic jam, and I don't know if that happens to all of you, doesn't matter if you drive or you are on the, on the bus, uh, but uh, when you are stuck in traffic and nobody moves, not even a... Uh, 
um, one millimeter. Do you know how, uh, how we, we say that in English? There's an idiom for that. Of, of course, when there's a lot of, a lot of uh, cars and everything, there's a traffic jam, right? Mm -hmm. But when you are like in stock and you cannot move, there's a phrase that we use. We, we said, we are a cat in a rush. Caught in a rush. I'm going to read it to write it for you for everybody. Caught in a rush. Caught in a rush. What well, that means that you're in stuck in traffic and you cannot move. You're in stuck. You're there, you're, you're there, you're stopped, and you don't know when you're going to arrive at home because nobody moves. Like in Spanish, estás parado. Yeah, so caught in a rush. For example, when you say, hey, what happened? Why you come late? I was caught in a rush. And, and with that expression, everybody understands that you were stuck in traffic. So you see, there's a lot of expressions that we can use and also to express some situation that might happen. So now you're learning one new one, caught in a rush. Have you already heard that expression or have you ever used it? No, never in your no. entire life. No. Oh, so now you know, cut in a rush. It's an idiom that we have. So you see, like in Spanish, we said, pan para tu matata, right? An expression. There you go. Uh, you see, I told you, oh, every day you're going to learn something new, something new. All righty. Uh -uh. Hey, uh, talking about something new, do you remember what we saw yesterday? I just need one volunteer. I know that everybody wants to participate. I understand that perfectly, but hold your horses. Hey, what, what does it mean, hold your horses? How do you spell words and using um, third conditional? Uh huh. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Talmita. What does it mean? Hold, hold, hold your horses. I ha I use it a lot. Hey, yeah. hold your horses. Yeah, but it's like uh -huh, calm down. Exactly. Calm down. Take it easy, guy. Right. Take it easy. Hold your horses. Right. That's another idiom. That's another expression that we use. But guys, you can you say hold your horses. Uh, in this case, in class, right, right now, but with your coworkers and with your friends, but never to your supervisor, because it's just more like familiar, right? That the people that we that we deal with every single day, but not with the supervisor. Oh, there's an, also another expression that I would like to share with you. Do you remember that when we're talking about, or we were speaking with a with a woman, we said, "Ma'am." Do you remember that expression, ma'am? Yeah? You need to be very careful what it, when and how you say it because you might offend the person. For example, if you said, um, yes, ma'am, if you say that, it's like, si, sí, senora. But in a tone of voice, like, like rude, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So you can use it, but you cannot use it more than three times because you might make the other people, the person feel like, a little bit um, uncomfortable and also try to avoid your tone of voice you can say yes madam or yes ma'am allow me just one moment man i'll be right back with you for example right if we just repeat it ma'am 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 you just make the other people get annoyed so only two or three times will be good and let me ask you let me let you know this word ma'am comes from a french word madame so that that is that is just the story of that word, ma'am. And usually the Afro American guys were the first one who used the word man, ma'am. But that word comes from the French word meta. It's interesting, right? Linguistic. It's really interesting. I will say I will send you a story about that word, okay, later on. Hey, and talking about story and everything. Did you practice what I sent you yesterday? Tell me the truth, Yoshi. Be honest. No, teacher. Okay, okay. She's honest, you see. 
<laughs> All right, please try to practice because that activity will help you with the writing activity and hopefully you're continuing learning and studying the regular and irregular verbs, okay? Because this is really, really important. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me something, what's the past and the past part of, all of, of uh, understand? Understood. 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 Mm -hmm. Break. Broke. 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 Begin. Began. 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 Forget, forgot, forgotten. No, forgive and forget. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's different. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I was like, what? Okay, okay. Uh, another one. Let's see. Mm. Drive. Drop. Driven. Of course. Mm. That was easy, peasy, queasy, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. No? You, you know. Teach. Tau, tau. Tau. I don't remember. Tau. Tau. I you know, pronounce it very well. Teach. Uh-huh. Tau. 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 Very good. That's what I need. Very good. Uh... Let's see, Drew. Drew. Mm -hmm. Or drove was drove. Drove. Aha, what's the pass of drove? Aha, I got you. Drew, drew, drone. Drew, drone. Very good. What's the pass of fall? Fall. Yeah. Uh, fall. Uh -huh. yeah. fall. Fell. Fallen. Oh, ah. The felt felt is the past of feel. Sentir. Feel, felt, felt. All right. Fight. Oh. What's the past of fight? Fought. Uh -huh. Fought. Fought, 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 Very good. Forbid, forbid. Mm -hmm. Forbid. What's the pass of forbid? That means prohibir. Forgave, forbidden. Forbade, forbidden. Very good. What's the pass of freeze? Freeze. <gasps> freeze. What's the pass of freeze? Rose, 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 very good. Was a pass of keep, cap, cap, cap. Uh huh. What the pass of a uh, meet, met, met, overcome, met, met, overcame, overcame. Overcome. All righty. What's the pass of shoot, shoot. Mm -hmm. What's the pass of shoot? Shot. 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 Oh, shot. Very good. Excellent. What's the pass of uh, ba, 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 sleep? Slip. 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 Stand. Uh huh. Stand. Stood. Uh huh. Very good. What's the pass of wake? Walk, 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 mm -hmm. walk, walk. And what's the pass of withdraw? Withdraw? Withdraw, uh huh. And the past possible? Drown. Withdrawn. Drown. Very good. Drown. Excellent. I know it's not easy, right? No. Huh, you see, I told you, I will ask you every single day. So you gotta study the verbs. 
I know it will be like, right? But it, that will help you a lot. Because once you learn the verbs, you will have more in vocabulary. So that is really, really important to know. We have well, the verb that I sent it to you, that's just a, a reduced list. We have a lot that you cannot imagine. For example, uh, the, the phrase of verb pickup. Remember the most of the time we use it like to grab something, right? But depends on the circumstances, we can use it in an 18 ways. Only the phrase of verb pick up. Can you imagine that? So that's why I ask you to learn it because that will help you a lot. But you know what? Congratulations. I'm so happy. Very good job, guys. I'm so, so proud of you that what you did, you broke my heart today. Yay. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, you did. You broke my heart. All righty, so let's continue right now. Yeah, Talmita also mentioned that yesterday we're talking about the crisis, right? And we and we discussed a lot of things and everything, and also about the different categories that might happen. Do you remember some of them that we have seen yesterday about the type of crisis? Remember natural disasters? What were the other ones? Remember that? Outage. Aha, uh -huh, power outage. Very good. There's another one. Uh -huh, Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. What else? Strike. A strike. strike. Very good. That's a, that was a new word for everybody, right? Strike. What does it mean in Spanish? Huelga. 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 Very good. Excellent. What was the other one that we saw? IT system failure. IT system failure. Very good. And the last one? Uh-huh, exactly. All right, so I would like to, now, guys, that you help me. This is a little um, easy, peasy, queasy activity. Basically, I have selected here uh, one, two, three, four, five things that we saw yesterday. And I have it here, one, two, three. So I just want you guys to let me know which one of these ones per line, right? It will be a horizontal way, right? Which of this one does not uh, basically is part of this category? Let's, for example, uh, 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 the first one, natural disasters, hurricanes, sure. infrastructures collapse and earthquake. Which of these three words does not belong to a natural disaster category? Infrastructure uh -huh. collapse. Exactly, very good. What about the number two, male volumes? Which one does not belong to this one? Proto tampering, boycott, and malicious rumors. Which one does not belong to that? Which one do you think? Mm -hmm. Malicious rumors. Uh -huh. Are you agree, guys? What is the meaning of the tampering, product tampering? Ah, what does it mean that? Anybody has the idea what does it mean? Manipulation. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. Kind of things like that. So which one do you think that uh, is not there? It is what which of the three words does not belong to malevolence? Or well, basically, that could be like when somebody guys deliberately tries to cause our harm or cause damage to somebody else. That is malevolence. Malevolu. Product tampering. Uh -huh, this one, yeah, this one does not belong. What about product recall? Which of the three does not belong to this category? Alutre products, misbranded products, software failure. Which of the three? Uh huh. Software failure. Software failure. Yeah, very good. IT system failure, hacking, sabotage, server malfunction. Okay. 
sabotage, very good. And the last one, utilities failure, power outages, terrorism, and gas outages. Terrorism. Terrorism, of course, right? <laughs> that was easy, busy, queasy, right? Easy, that's another idiom. What does it mean? Easy, like a piece of cake. All righty, very good job. Thank you so much for helping me. Now, let me ask you, um, yesterday we're talking about the crisis. And, but let me ask you something. Does your company have a contingency plan in case crisis occurs? ¿Tiene su compañía un plan de contingencia en caso de que surja una crisis? No hay Just in case of fire or... Just in case of fire. Uh -huh. yeah. Nothing else? No? An earthquake. An earthquake? Okay, what else? I don't know where you live, uh, where you work, Fernandito. Teacher, teacher, sorry, yes, teacher. Erwin. I have, one, I have one question. Yes, the, go ahead. The, the, sorry, teacher. The mean of the crisis is economic crisis or about the... the... Whatever. It could be okay. anything. Okay. Yeah, not, not all the time is talking about economic. Okay. Crisis would be something else, like, for example... Earthquake. Uh-huh, uh -huh. exactly. Okay. Fire in the, in the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course, at the at the later on, it will cause economic situation issue. Of course, right? Because we're going to lose not only human beings, but at the same time, uh, products, machines, etc. Right? Yes. But also, crisis could be not only economic; could be like natural disasters, for example. Mm -hmm. So, are you prepared for that? Uh, does your company already prepare for that? Has like a contingency plan or no? No. No. No that you are aware of. Oh. In some case, yes, teacher. I think uh -huh. yeah, because uh, for for some or the company has a property insurance. Mm -hmm. In some case, like if robo. Um, uh, theft of, of uh, some something some products uh -huh, okay. uh -huh, some products but uh, when it's natural disaster mm -hmm. I think that most companies don't have uh, uh, the, yeah. the pandemic uh -huh. the, the, the fear case is in the pandemic mm -hmm. uh, some, some companies they're not prepared for for that cases uh, and, and they're broke, they're broke mm -hmm. in some case. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially that El Salvador, we mm -hmm. have the characteristics that we have a lot of earthquakes, right? Many ones, but yes, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. That's what we call the Hamaca Valley, right? Yeah. Yeah, because of that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Oof. Yeah, I, I already passed one like shake on the building, I was in the sixth floor and like, no way, that was horrible, whoosh. Yeah, so if we are a, a, a country that suffer for that kinds of natural disaster, we should be more prepared, right, for that? Yeah, mm -hmm. but, Miss, yeah. yes, yes, Madeline? Yeah, uh, I want to share something in oh, my ahead, company. Sure. Uh, uh, in this moment, they are receiving uh, a training. Oh, it's uh, good. They select some, uh, my co-workers mm -hmm. and all uh, for one month uh, mm -hmm. every more a monday they will receive a training about how to react uh, with the different uh, situation or crisis like we are learning about wow. uh, and uh, well they are receiving in, in learning about that that's good. And thank you so much for sharing. That's really important. You see companies I are taking into consideration that are really important because imagine guys, should an organization have a reaction team in case of a crisis? They should have it, right? The, the, the situation is that they do not have it, but they, they should have it. And that is what Madeline is sharing right now with us. They are training the guys because for example, it depends on the company. There are some company that has like uh, more a lot, two or three buildings, right? 
and they need to be like like a specific team to like react in case there's there is a disaster and guide all their employees to let them know what to do. But what Madeline's sharing with us, this is really important. I think we were talking about that yesterday that we would need to like do some type of simulations or practices before a crisis occurs, right? Not to wait until we have the crisis. That is really important. What do you think about that, guys? I want you to share your ideas with everybody. It's so important, teacher, but depends on what kind of company. Uh -huh. For example, my company has a X-ray machine and uh -huh. we have a protocol what we should do in case of uh, radiation emergency. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's really important. Yeah, it's so important. Yeah, you see? So that is a contingent plan, you see? So yeah, you should have it. And let me, I'm going to share right now with you guys and I need volunteers because we're going to also to do a role play and we're going to learn in the role plays on new vocabulary that will help you in your workplace environment. But definitely this is a talking about that, that what uh, the managers or the CEO or the headquarters could have done to avoid situations yeah why it is really important to have a comprehensive plan before a crisis happens and that's really important so i just want here who will be a volunteer for me uh, 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 uh. yeah it will be two girls i need two baby girls today isn't it amazing i need two baby girls here so we're going to leave boys for a while uh, uh, uh. jesse you want to be one of the baby girls yeah yeah Okay, there you go. Now, Madeline, would you like to be another baby girl? Yeah. Yes, okay, cool. Uh, are you, you listen to her? She said, always. No. <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, what? Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. yes. uh, oh, oh, I'm always a baby girl. All right. <laughs> All righty. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, so I'm tough right now. I'm sorry, but I'm getting older. I apologize for that inconvenience, girl. <laughs> All right, let me share right now my screen with them. And, and, and I will need two volunteers, but I think I, I will need to like put it a little bit bigger, right? It's much better for reading. So let me double check right now. Okay, there you go. Can you see it? Yep, yeah? much better. Okay, so I think Jesse, you're going to be Nina and Madeline, you're going to be Jill, right? All right, okay. talking about counting hands and plan and scenario number one. Action, go ahead, girls. Did you hear about our competi competition? There is a rumor, rumor about their CEO. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, and my son. <laughs> okay, don't Maybe. worry. All righty. A contingency plan is scenario number two. Action, go ahead. <laughs> Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees and it and it is and it is out and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company they could have pre prevented the issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think I think so too. When the rumors went online. The PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and picture out there now. Our PR department would, would have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a, a way out of this pitch. Pinch. Pinch. Very careful with the pronunciation, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoops. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Very good job, guys. Very good job, girls. Excellent. Hey, do you have any new vocabulary, guys, that you don't know what does it mean? Besides pinch? Mm hmm Any new vocabulary, guys? It's pretty. Mm-hmm. What's meaning mistreating? Mistreating, where is it? 
in the first paragraph. First paragraph. Okay, there is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees. Mistreating, treating them bad, mistreating his employees. The CEO is, was treating them bad, the employees. That is what mistreat means. Any other one? What is the abbreviation of PR? Which department is that? PR. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed. What is a PR? Any idea? Mm -hmm. That is the abbreviation of public relations. Public relations department, PR. Okay? Mm -hmm. Any other I, word? What does mean? I I hope they find a way out of this pinch. This pinch of this situation, this conflict. Ah, okay. Thank you. This esta situación apretada, right? This is a tie situation. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Any other any other new word for you? No, you don't know what does it mean? Because every, everything is clear like water or like horchata. What is the meaning CEO? See, what is CEO? That is the headquarters, Chief, the headquarters. Chief executive officer. Oh my God. Repeat after, repeat it again, please. <laughs> Chief executive officer. Yes, Chief executive officer, mm -hmm. which is the top, of the head of the head of the company. Teacher, Chief e CFO? No, CEO. No. CFO is other. Ah, what does it mean? Yeah, is um, uh, what is C? Um, it's like financial. Like financial. Yeah, CFO. yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay, CFO. Uh, financial, you said? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Uh huh. CFO. Oh, yeah. okay. That's a good one. We need to like learn that, right? That's a new one for me. Ah, 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 ah. ah okay. I got it. I know what doesn't mean now. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Okay, guys. So let's practice the pronunciation, okay? Especially, guys, with the intonation of the questions. And also, we need to join. We need to join some words so we can just like put it together and try to pronounce it in a little faster way. Guys, take a look at this one first. What type of question is this? What type of question? Do you hear about our competition? What type of question is this? Of course, it's in past. Of course, right? Now, auxiliary <laughs> did, right? I know that, I know that. But I, I don't want the tense. I want to know what type of question is this? Just no question? Yes, exactly, no. Fernando. Just no question. So do you remember that the just no question, the intonation goes up or the intonation goes down? Uh-huh. Goes up. Goes up. Very good. Exactly. So when you oh. read it, you got to do it. Did you, did you hear about our competition? Do you hear about our competition? You see? A little bit like, whoop. Don't say, do you hear about our competition? Because no way. Okay, so repeat after me. Do you hear about our competition? Repeat it, please. You heard. Do you hear about our competition? Do you hear about our competition? Again, did you hear about our competition? Did you hear about our competition? Very good. All righty. There is a rumor about their CEO. There is a rumor about their CEO. There is a rumor about their CEO. We're going to add, guys, this word. Okay, there is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees. Again? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees. Again, there is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees. There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees. Very good. And it is out everywhere on internet. It is, it is out, 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 out on the internet. 
en todo internet sale que este señor es un mal jefe, right? Okay, so guys, now let's let's put the whole idea together, okay? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. Say it, please. Aha, uh -huh, Madeline. Sorry. Madeline, <laughs> say it, say it. <laughs> there is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. Very good. <laughs> good job, girl. Okay, Jesse, you want to try? Go ahead, girl. Which one, Jen? That first paragraph when it okay. says there under <laughs> internet. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. <laughs> there is a rumor about their CEO measuring his employees and it is out everywhere, everywhere or on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> One more time from the beginning. You can do it. There, there is a rumor about their CEO measuring his employees and it is out and everywhere on the internet. Don't, don't put and. No, wait. Again, do it. One more time. You can do it, girl. There is a rumor about their CEO mystery. His employees, I, I could, I could. <laughs> no, no, don't cut it from the beginning. There is a rumor about their CEO mystery, his employees, and it is out, out every, everywhere on the internet. Almost close, close. One more time <laughs> and you can do it. Take a deep breath. <laughs> and then you hold the breath and say it all together. Go ahead, girl, you can do it. There is a rumor about their CEO measuring his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. Yay! There we go. That's my girl. <laughs> is everybody dancing? Yeah, very good. Uh-huh. Telmita, you want to try, girl? You can do it. You can do yes, it. Yes, I'm going to try. Okay, you can do it. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, there is a rumor about their CEO measuring his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. Yay! Very good! Excellent job! Yeah! Doris, you want to try? Okay. There is a rumor about the CEO restraining his employees and, the, and there is out everywhere on the internet. Very good! That's a good one! Okay! What about the boys? What about the boys? Uh, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Fernando, you want to try? The, all the paragraph. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, uh, did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their C CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. Very good, excellent job. Okay, guys, shall we move on to the next paragraph? Yeah, okay, yeah. let's practice. It must be an employee trying to use to sue the company. It must be an employee. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. Very good, they could have prevented this issue. They, they could have uh -huh. prevented uh -huh. this issue. Mm -hmm. But their public relations department is not that solid. But their but public they relations, relations relation department is not, not that, that solid. solid. Very good. Let's do it one more time. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue. It's much be being trying to sue the company. They could have prevented the issues, but the public relations department is not that solid. Yeah, but their public relations department is not that solid. Okay, now let's do it all together. Okay, listen. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. Okay, one more time. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their poor relations department is not that solid. Volunteer? Thank you, Yoshi. Go ahead. Okay. Since the beginning? Uh, no, okay. the, it says it diploma, must. Yeah. Yes. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. It's not, it's not, don't ask me as a question. It is, it is like your point of view. So 
Do it one more time, please. Okay. Must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. Very good. Excellent. You want to try, Amelia? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it must be an employee trying to sue, to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but the public, public relations department is not that solid. Very good. Excellent. Y'all, yeah. one more time. Erwin, you want to try? You can do it, sir. Yes, this is it. Okay. It will be an employee trying to sue the company before have prevent the issue. But the public relations department is not a solid. Very good. Good job, sir. Give me a double five. Amazing. Very good. Okay, so let's move on. I think so, too. Repeat after me, please. I think so, too. I think so, I think so too. too. When the rumor went online, when the rumor went, went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. The, the PR, PR department, department should have called, have called for, a for a press conference. conference. Very good. I think so too. I think, I think so, so too. too. When the rumor went online, when the, when the rumor went online, online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. The PR, PR department, department should have called call for the press conference. conference. Very good. Alexander, are you there? Yes. All right. Could you please be so kind to repeat it for us? I think so too. And then until conference, go ahead. I think so too. Um, when the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Very good. Excellent. Francisco, you want to try? Francisco. Yes, yes. So, sorry. Right. That's sorry. okay. Go ahead. I think I think so to the when the rumor went no, 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 online. No, 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 no. I think so too. Hold it and then you continue. Go ahead. One more time. I think I think so too. When the rumor went rumor went online the department conference. Okay, very good. You were cutting off, right? You have a, like a delay, right, on your internet. Oh. But that's okay. Good try. Good try. Very good job. Uh, Josuecito, you want to try? Sure. Okay, go ahead. I think so, too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Very good. What a press conference. Excellent job. Good job. Then let's move on, guys. Yes, there is an even a, there is even a video and pictures on there now. Yes, yes, there is even a video and picture out there now. Mm -hmm. Wow, very good. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. Mm -hmm. This far. I hope they find a way out of this pitch. I hope they I hope find, find a way out of the pitch. Uh -uh. I hope they find out. Yeah, you see, I hope they find a way out of this pitch. I hope, I hope they find, find a way out of this pitch. Pinch. 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 Be careful Pinch. with the pronunciation, please. Pinch. Pinch. You can, Pinch. you can, uh, you can show something different. <laughs> All righty, very good, excellent. So, sh shall we start from the beginning? Uh huh. Ah, uh huh. I, I, we need another victim. Sorry, another volunteers. But this time, I don't want any mistakes. Oh, oh well, the less as possible, okay. Of course, take into consideration pronunciation, intonation, and try to like, guys, I don't want you to speed up. I, I just want you to pronounce the whole sentence correctly, but no faster. My What I really want is that you pronounce correctly the words, okay? I don't want you to go to like Speedy Gonzalez, no. You can go to Lento Rodriguez, that's okay for me. As long as you pronounce it, correctly it's fine for me okay volunteer okay 
Tell me that you want to try. Yes, we're going to yes. try. Okay. Yeah. And let's see. Amelia. Okay. So tell me that you're going to be Nina and Amelia, you're going to be Jill. Okay. Take a deep breath. Relax. Pretend that the teacher is not here, that you're just alone. You're talking about the CEO and all the stuff. Okay. And try to read it carefully pronounce it correctly good <laughs> intonation and don't go fast okay all right okay. the scenario is it. yours action go ahead okay did you hear about our competition there is a rumor about their ceo mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet it must be an employee trying to show the company they could have pretended this issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video in the pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Very good, my goodness. Oh my God. You were like speaking so good. Hey guys, are you happy with these two girls? They did an amazing job. Good job. Very good job. Congratulations. How do you feel, right? Yeah, it feels good, right? Yeah, congratulations. And another victim, sorry, <laughs> another participants. Yeah. Okay, Kenya, thank you so much. Doris, you want to try? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me go back and share my screen. There you go. <laughs> all righty. Okay. Let me put it right now. Uh, da, 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 da. There you go. Okay. So uh, 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 talking about contingency plan and scenario number five, I think. Action, go ahead. Uh, Doris, you're going to be Nina and I think Kenya, right? It's going yep. to be Jill. Action. Oops. Okay. Do you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO. Miss Training is his employees and the list is out everywhere on the, on the internet. There must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have been preventing this issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so, so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department could, couldn't have allowed for this again our peer department could have and could have allowed the situation to coming this far i hope they find a way out of this pin very pin. good job excellent doris excellent kenya good try very good and i need to listen of course to boys so we put instead of nina we put nino right <laughs> and instead of Jill, we put Jim. Okay. All righty. Thank you so much. And Andresito, would you like to be Nino? And uh, Josue, would you like to be Jim? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Andresito, you start. Who starts, teacher? Yes, Andresito, you start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. I must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I, I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and picture 
out there now? Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Do me a favor, Andresito, almost perfect. Say the last paragraph again. Uh, starting in our PR or, department. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Uh -huh. Again, I want you to say this one, this one, I wait out together. Don't cut. Okay. Do it I one more time. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Very good. A way of this pinch. A way of this pinch. A Say it one more time. A way out this pinch. Okay, from the beginning, our PR department. Go ahead. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Uh -huh. No, but I want you to start from our PR department. Okay. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Very good, excellent. Good job, guys, congratulations. How do you feel? It's better Much when better, we right? practice, yes. Yeah, we pra now we're practicing. We're not only talking about the guidelines and the plans and the strategies and the area. We are focusing right now on the pronunciation of the words or the pronunciation, the intonation. So you feel more comfortable. And that's really nice, right? Because you, you feel like you're actually talking, that you're actually speaking, expressing your point of view about the situation. That's amazing. Okay, I want another another participant, another volunteers. Erwin, you wanna try? Yes. Yeah? Okay, yes. so, so I'm going to ask Erwin and who else? Jarvin, you wanna try it as well? Okay, teacher. Aha, I, I was missing my supervisor here. Yo. Where is his reign now? Come on. All righty, very good. Okay, so and um, Erwin, you wanna, you're going to be Nina, and Jarvin, you're going to be Deal, okay? okay? Okay, you start. Go ahead. As scenario number six, action. Did you hear about our competition? This is a rumor about the CEO, Mr. Uh, Ms. Kyle, he's in Greece. And it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented these issues, but they prevent the relation. The department is not too solid. Uh -huh. Stop there, stop there. One more time, please. All them? All the department? Yes. Okay. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented these issues. But their public relations department is not that solid. Again, one more time, if you don't mind, please. Okay. It's mood, it mm -hmm. Again. Mood, it okay. must be. It's, it's must be that employees trying to sue the company. They could have prevented these issues, but their public relations department mm -hmm. is not that solid. That's what I need. Go ahead. Continue. Continue, Nina. Uh, <laughs> I think so too. When the rumor went the all night, the PR department should have called for a press for a press conference. Go ahead, stop there. Do it one more time, Erwin. You can do it. Okay. okay. I see so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Very good. One more time, the PR department. Okay. Do it one I more think, time. You can okay. do it. Okay. The thing so too, when the rumor went online, the PR department should have to call for a press conference. Yeah, continue. Yes, there is even a video and picture out there now. Very good, continue. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of the speech. Again, I hope they find a way out of the speech. Our the PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of the speech. Very good, excellent, good job. Yeah, <laughs> take a deep breath, right? Woo. <laughs> you can grab a glass of water, right? <laughs> excellent job, good job guys. How you feel it? It's nice, right? You feel that like you're speaking. Excellent job, very good. We're practicing intonation. Uh, a little bit of speedness, right? 
join the sentences, join the words. So we can just um, not only feel more comfortable, but at the same time, try to sound more natural, more native when we're speaking. Very good job, excellent. How do you feel about it? Do you like it? Yes, we like it. Yes. Yes. Are you seeing? We're practicing. Very good job. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, let me double check something else that we can do it right now. I'm going to share right now with you information that I want you basically to complete based on the dialogue that we have practiced right now. So we're going to send it to you right now. And please allow me a IT department, okay? Because I'm going to send it to you right now. Let's see what we have. Mm -mm. Okay, I just recently sent it to you. So based on the dialogue that we have uh, finished, can you please be so kind to complete this idea and would you like me to share with you the dialogue so you can also complete this idea? Okay, I'm going to share it right now with you. Give me just one moment. Okay, let me share with you also. Alrighty, this is an individually activity guys. So please, uh, I will give you one minute to complete it. Okay, and I'll be right back. Finish or not really? Yes. Okay, finish, right? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me show right now what I have given you and I want you to help with this. All right, this is the, the sentence, right? They, this issue, but their poor relations department is not that solid. What is, what? which are the words that are missing here? They who have prevent. They what? They could have prevented. Aha, uh -huh, this issue. Okay. So can you please read it for me, the whole sentence? Joshi? They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. Exactly. But their public relations department is not that solid. Very good. What about number two? When the rumor went online, the PR department? Should have called, called for. What? Should have called for. Should have called for a press conference. All right, yeah. very good. And the last one, our PR department? Wouldn't have allowed. Wouldn't have allowed? The situation. Very good. Wow, bravo. My goodness. Have you have taken some vitamins? You are good and so fine today. Amazing. Good job, guys. Excellent job. All righty. Right now, let's do some break, okay? Let's do some break up. Let's play, okay? Because we're going to, like, move forward to a different activity right now, but let's pray. You have done a really amazing job that I will give you some extra break, okay? And now everybody's turning on the camera. I don't know why. But I don't know. Jarvie would never turn it on the camera. I don't think so. All righty. That's okay. All right. Hey, Jarvie, I want to see you because we're going to play the game when I would like to see you guys. 
All righty. Okay. Remember about Simon Says? Yeah? Remember about that? Okay. Let's just stretch out a little bit. Okay, cool. Hey, how do you say this in English? Uh -huh. All righty. How do you say this in English? Uh -huh. How do you say this in English? Irish. Uh -huh. How do you say this in English? I'm brown. All right. How do you say this in English? No. What about this? Cheese. What about this? What about this? What about this? Tongue. All right. What about this? Ears. What about this? Ears. 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 What about this? Chin. Chin. What about this? Chin. What about this? Arm. What about this? Elbow. Elbow. What about this? Fingers. 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 But the whole thing? Hands. 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 Uh -huh. What about this? Nail. 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 All right. And what about this? Back. 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 Exactly. What about this? Chest. 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 All right. Very good. <laughs> I almost show you my leg, but I'm not too flexible, guys. <laughs> well, I used to be, but no, not anymore, because I used to be a gymnastic, but no, no anymore, okay? No anymore. My muscle and my bones are already back where they are supposed to be, okay? So no flexible anymore, at least not too much. <laughs> All righty, there you go. Okay, so let's play the game. Hey, remember what, which are the rules for Simon Says? Which are the rules? Do you yes. remember yeah. which ones are they? Giovanni? Uh, you have to say Simon says, mm -hmm. and you have to show those the part of the body. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But which part of the body you have to touch? The one that you watch me or the one that you listen to? The one that listen. we listen. Uh -huh. And if I said something and I do not mention the word Simon says, do you gotta touch it or not? No. No. Okay, cool. Let's practice. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Simon says, tuck your, tuck your elbow. Simon says, tuck your arms. Simon says, tuck your nose. Simon says, tuck your forehead. Simon says, tuck your shoulder. Simon says to your eyebrow. Simon says touch your cheek. Touch your boy. <laughs> touch your back. <laughs> you know, Erwin, you lost. <laughs> you know what Fernando was like, touch your back, he was like. <laughs> Ah, you see? Okay, let's do it again. Uh, Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your cheek. Simon says, touch your chin. Simon says, touch your ear. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your shoulder. <laughs> All righty, Simon says, touch your back. Touch your chest. Jarvin, goodbye. You lost. Because I said touch your chest. I didn't say Simon says. Uh -huh. <laughs> All righty, there you go. All righty. So uh, are you stressed out or you would like to continue playing? Just one more, right? One more. Okay. Uh, Simon says, uh, touch your arm. Touch your hand. Touch your teeth. Sorry, Doris, you lost. Because I said touch your teeth. No, I didn't say Simon said, right? Ooh. <laughs> All righty, very good job. So you're ready to uh, stretch out a little bit, right? Sorry, you want to continue? No, but yes, right? <laughs> All righty, very good. Okay. All right, guys, so we're continuing right now with the topic. And basically, I want to share with you some key actions, key action, guys, that we need to consider 
when we are dealing with a crisis in order of importance, key actions, strategies, something that might help us to like determine what we can do for a specific situation. So I just have like five actions and I want you guys to read it carefully and tell me which one will be from one to five. The one will be the most important and the five will be the not the less important, but the last step to follow when we find a crisis when we having a crisis, okay? Are you understand what we're gonna do right now? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. So let's move forward. All right, you see, we have the key actions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, five, sorry. All right, read it carefully and tell me which one will be the first thing to do when we're dealing with a crisis. Read it carefully. I will give you time. Finish? Yes? Or no? Yeah? Tell me from these sentences, because we have five, right? We have six sentences, but I want you guys to let me know which is the first action that you will do when you face a crisis. Which is the first one, according to this one? Be accountable for your actions. Don't forget about social media. Control the flow and accuracy of information. Have legal advice and communication experts at hand. Be honest, never lie in times of crisis and communicate with customers and suppliers, which is the first thing that you gotta do. I guess control the flow. Control the flow? Inaccurate information. Uh -huh. Is everybody well, agree? In my opinion, uh -huh. you should be honest. You never die and never lie in time of crisis. Uh -huh. So that is the first yeah. action. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So, but also what um, Amelia said, mm -hmm. control the flow. That could be second one, right? What about number three? Communicate with the customer and suppliers. And suppliers, yes, it's really important. Yeah, with your people, right? Your customers, okay. What about number yeah. four? Be accountable for your actions, have some responsibility. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. What about number five? Mm -hmm. Have a legal advice or don't forget about social media. Have a legal advice. Have a legal advice. And the last one? Social media. Social media, yeah. It's really important, right? Especially when what you, Amelia, said it. We need to be careful with the flow and the accuracy of information. That's really, really important because, guys, uh, it, we could, it could have two effects in our company, a positive image or a negative image. That depends, right? So do you think, guys, these ideas of key action will help you in your company? Yeah, it will. Definitely will. Do you come up with a different ideas? Any different ideas, guys? Any other suggestions? What do you think, Erwin, for your experience? This is a uh -huh. Besides the key action that we have seen right now, uh, which other actions do you consider that are important to do when you face a crisis? Commit. Commit. Commit Commitment? Yes. 
common mm -hmm. guest. In the Why? in the light, in the light, in the love and the shadow, you have to be a committed. Mm -hmm. Commit. How's it commit? Committed. Committed, yeah, committed. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to have a commit committed if you have a company or enterprise. Yes, in the law of the Ministry of Trabajo. Mm -hmm. Very this good. Is a, this is one responsibility for all the company. And the, the, co the community uh, have to know what, what to do, what happens something about, for, for example, a hurricane mm -hmm. a or a fire within the company. Mm -hmm. The community work for to make the, the gesture when you have a problem into the company. Mm, that's really interesting. Yes, you're yeah. right about that. Yes, this is the, the law. Uh, I remember. I remember it. Uh, Fifteen years old. Yeah. Fifteen years ago. Yes, yes, yes. Fifteen years ago, uh -huh. in the Ministry of Trabajo. The War Ministry. He, yeah, did the that law for all the company. Okay. Yes. Very good. I know. Yes, it's really important what you said. That's true. Now, guys, I want you to work in pairs. Hi, teacher. Yes. Today we're going to develop intonation and speaking. Speaking, speaking, speaking. I will share with you some scenarios or a possible actions. And basically, what I want you to do is to assume that your company was involved in one of the crises that I will send it to you. And what I want you to do is to take turns between your, um, your partner and you responding to this question. What would you have done as a manager? What would you have done as a manager? We have basically four scenarios. I'm gonna share right now with you before my IT department said that we have no send the information, right, Mr. Fernando? <laughs> I'm just saying. Did you guys receive it? Did you? Yes. Okay, you see, uh -huh. I told you, never, never happens to me again. Yeah, all right. So, guys, I want you, this time, you are not going to pick one of them. This time you are going to talk about all the as and areas. We have one, two, three, four as and areas. So think about that your company is involved in each of them. And I want you guys to talk about that. What would you have done as a manager, for example, if you face the second one, for example, or the fourth one, a hurricane has made it almost impossible for your employees to get to the company. What would you have done as a manager if that happens? Hmm? Okay, you understand what you're gonna do? Yeah? Okay, cool. So how many we are right now? 50, right? Because with me, no. Uh, no, I'm going to put you in trios. That will be much better. So that means five group of three, right? Because we're 15. Yeah. All righty. There you go. So Blanky, you're going to work with Telman Williams. Andres, you're going to work with Erwin and Fernando. Francisco, Jarvin and Madeline together. Joris, Josue and Joshi. And finally, Amelia, Kenya and Jesse. Okay, guys, start please. Accept the invitation and work as a team to discuss the situations. Amelia, you need to like join. Very good, excellent. All right, let's double check with these guys. Let me get in. You understand what you're gonna do, guys? Yes? We had, uh, we had to talk about every scenario. Exactly. And you're going to respond to the question, what would you have done if you were a manager in each situation? That's what I want you to talk about, okay? 
Okay. All right, let's double check the other guys. I will leave you alone. I will give you, now it's 924. Do you think that 10 minutes will be enough? Yeah, for me, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. So you have 10 minutes to discuss the four scenarios. Let me double check the other guys, okay? Continue okay. working, guys. Okay. In the, in the first one, some employee shared a video related to the product, the company, and the video goes better in customer out. Mm -hmm. What can we do? Is we are the managers. Uh -huh. It depends because some companies has um, clauses of uh, confidentiality. Yeah. And if that is uh, related about it, the company can fire that employee. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, confidential. confidential. Yeah. There, uh, there are a, a contract, confidential contract. Yeah. Okay. Okay, confidential contract. Okay, and the second one? The second one is a uh, we have to make some some solutions for the problem at the at the four I don't know um, well we have to Found a solution, find a solution about that. Because the first one, there is a video of themselves tampering with the products of the company. The video goes, through. I don't know. Yes, it's, it's, it's difficult, difficult right? Yes. I know, I know. <laughs> you are facing four different scenarios, right? So you're a manager for each different scenario. So what will you do? Fire every Fire single. everybody, no way. For example, every. in the last one, that, that all the employees cannot attend to the company due to the hurricane. Are you going to fire hurricane them? Hurricane has made it almost impossible for your employees to get to the company. Uh -huh. Okay, the fourth one, it's easy because uh, we can uh, we can put on, on risk the life of the employees. So we can take another solution to for them to to make their their work. Their job. Uh -huh. their, but what yeah. will you do? For example, we can now that the technology it's uh -huh. it's, it's all the solution and, and everything we can uh, make them work from home, right? Uh huh. That it will be one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could work from home. Or you will give a day off to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, too. <laughs> that would be awesome, right? And, and of course, you pay them. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah dep depends on what type of company because not all of the companies you can do that. Yeah. Okay. And and the hurricane. Uh, Don't use hurricane. Uh, you can use earthquake. Yeah, the hurricane or the earthquake uh, doesn't take a. Uh, all the I don't know three days or more depends. So, well, hurricane, depends on the I magnitude. Think, I think the well, yeah, the hurricane is different. Yes, and that week it's different too because they came just one day and and then it's a rapidly 
replicas. I Replication, know. yeah. Uh -huh. Replication, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, I remember in 1986, that was horrible. Oof. I don't remember oh. because oh. I, 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 um, I, I didn't already burn. Ah, you were not but... burned. I was four years old by that time. And the, the week, every week, well, the whole week, there are like replicates. And many yes, replicates yes. during the same yeah, day. The, the, yes, I remember. The yeah. The that, that I, I have a memory, it's the memory? 2001. Ah, because yeah. you were, how old were you by that time? Nine, I think. I had ah, nine. nine years I was old. 19 years old by then. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, so I'm I'm a little bit older, but not too. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I continue. Remember, uh -huh. Okay, okay. We can I think that that that's a good solution for the fourth, but the first one, it's very difficult because well, for me. I will talk with with all the employees that it's involved that with the involved problem with because the problem. Mm -hmm. if, if they're made a, a video, I think that they showed her face. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pardon, sorry, sorry, their face, their uh -huh. faces, their faces. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, so I have. Uh, I have the guilty people, I don't know. And I could I could fire them <laughs> without without uh, I don't know how to it's flown close to you and you have a I uh I don't know who say a problem with that. Yeah. And the third one, uh, one of your employees from a branch store had to defend himself against an aggressive summer, but social media is reporting the issue as a case of an aggressive employee attacking a, a consumer, like the uh, Sarita. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. That's true, uh -huh. but I think it's a good way to have a, a camera in your store or wherever you were. For example, in the picket, if you have a, a car or a, a truck, you have to have a, a camera because someone only read when you are fighting, but no, no, you have to watch all the all the experience, for example. Oh, you can see how they react there in with the uh, old, uh, I don't know. Uh, you expect the real situation that happened because uh, someone else uh, can tell you uh, their, uh, their way or their, the, the way that happened something, but if you have a camera, you can see how did how how this happened. Yes. Uh, uh, and, and you, you uh -huh, and you analyze how to react and uh, all the action that you will do. I didn't. I never going going to to be manager <laughs> because <laughs> I I am. Um, 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 extremely person, or uh, and, and for that reason, then I think I never, I never to be manager. Uh, but eh, that's <laughs> an hypothetic, hypothetic case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for that reason. What does mean extremely like uh, angry or or I, don't mm. know. I think angry. Ah yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 yeah. But I'm I'm really talkative, but in some case I'm angry. I think. 
or some people some people say me that I I am um, I don't know um, seriously I think is um pandemia you have to 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 give the transport ah exactly you how you have to decide what to do in that kind of situation like yes. uh, the, you have pandemia. to look the, the best to the best solution for that problem because uh, you my... continue okay. no do it, do it. no <laughs> No, in my case, uh, I worked uh, in my house. I uh, received calls and uh, they to they think about how to react and how to do about that. Yes, situation. you have to, you have to look the best the best solution for that. Aha! Uh -huh. How was the series, guys? Do you like the titty? You were talking about many things. Fernando, you're like... <sighs> you're almost sleepy. Uh -huh. Fernando said, I don't like talkative exercise attention. <laughs> was it hard it. for you? Yes, because, because yeah. of all the oh, things I, that I, I, I were doing and I am doing. Yeah, yes. I know. You're multitasking right now, right? Yes, but maybe I, I have to, 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 to drink vitamins or something like that because... Yeah, sometimes we need it. Yes, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially for stress, for uh, the melanin of your brain. Yeah, we need it. Definitely. To be honest with you, if not, I won't be able to be with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Imagine I always start my job at 6 a.m. in the morning. All the time. And guess at what time I go back to sleep? All days. Well, Almost at midnight. And I have to wake up at 5.30 a.m. all the time, once again. Okay, I, mean, I know it's not, it's hard. Yeah. That's why it's I need to take some medications. Yeah, what, Mamelia? It is self-vacations. Of course you I do self-vacations. I need a vacation desperately. I'm planning I'm already with my family, my pets. Yes. Because my pets are part of my family. So I, I always search for a place when they accept baby dogs and baby cats. I'm always like that. Yeah. If I move to another country, I definitely will take them with me. I'm not going to leave them. They are my babies. They come with me. All the time. Imagine, oh. we, imagine whiskey. With a passport, yeah, you know what they they have they have must have a passport. Can you imagine whiskey like this? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, they show a password. Okay, guys, talking about crisis and everything. How was the activity? There were four scenarios, but may I ask you, all of them were easy, or not really? No, it was hard. Not really, right? Okay. So let's go back and share right now the four scenarios, and I want your opinion. I get the first one. The satisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering with the products of the company. The video goes viral, and customers are outraged. What will you do as a manager in this situation? Can anybody share the idea? Any idea about the situation? Did you discuss that? Did you come up with a with a solution? Uh huh. Make a video to story about the situation. Uh huh, Kenya. That would be a really good idea. 
Anybody else? And try to rather with the employees that are uh, angry or, or something and try to get a uh, acuerdo. I don't know how an to agreement, say agreement. An agreement. An agreement because I mean, if we create a video, but they create other, other video and they could be uh, fighting with videos, I don't know. It would be really complicated. It would be like a legal situation, right? Yeah, yeah. And imagine, I mean, the video, you can remove the video for the internet. I mean, it's almost impossible because it's internet. So it's it's hard. Yes. All the images that you upload, you can you can uh, talk with our T department, Fernando. You said, I, I erase it. But no, they have no goal. Right, Fernando? Uh, it depends because... It depends. Okay, okay. Give us some some class about images and upload videos and all of that. What happened with them? If, if we click to delete it, are they completely deleted? Uh, or no? Uh, it, it depends because if the, the picture or the data is deleted, deleted right now, maybe you, you, you can uh, recover that. But for example, the, the better way to erase all and you, uh, you can re recover that information is, for example, I erase a photo mm -hmm. and after that in the, in the same directory, you can copy some files to rewrite that the space of the disk. Um, okay. Yeah. So if I uploaded a photo, for example, a compromised photo about me, and I if I said I, I erase it? Uh, is if you only erase locally the, the photo is on the cloud so is it still there right is it still there yes so how can i erase it from the cloud you have to it depends you have to to uh, uh check your account uh -huh. and delete from your cloud from your cloud and from the google one yes for google drive uh, dropbox mm -hmm. whatever that you, you use or if you don't know how what to do, call Mr. Fernando at 1-800 number, right? <laughs> and he will give you like some IT support, <laughs> either by phone <laughs> or by chat, right? <laughs> the, the, the apps are friendly for the users. Something sometimes you can find easily the, the option to the, the, in, the, in the configuration you have the option, for example, I, I don't like to uh -huh. to upload up of the photo that I, I take or I prefer mm -hmm. to upload up the only the ma manually when I want and the photos that I want to, to upload exactly. up to, to, for saving um, but automat auto automatic automatically automatically I don't I don't like I don't like to do that. Yes and you need to be very careful right with that. Yes. Yeah yeah because the social media once it's uploaded on the internet ooh, everybody have seen that oh it's really a really hard situation right the first scenario guys uh, what about the second one a new laptop model has been released into the market and a few days later it is discovered that a new model has a flaw which makes its battery explode or catch fire while charging can you imagine that how you solve that problem Fernando, I want to I want to hear you about you, because you are this kind of environment. So, what will you do in this case? Well, if I am the owner of the store, first you have to to advertise to your customer that they already bought bought the the laptop, mm -hmm. and you have to to give instruction on how to refund or maybe change the product for another at the surprise. And at the same time, you have to contact your provider. Your provider have to respond for, for the, the, the laptop that ha, has the flaw or have the flaw. And it, it, it's the same process, I, I guess. Uh, they, they have to respond you because if you have an insurance company, the insurance mm -hmm. company have to communicate to your provider 
Mm -hmm. And the insurance company respond instantaneously, but they have the process with the, for example, the insurance company uh, maybe can can do the all the all the process, and mm -hmm. you and they respond you immediately. 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 That's good. That's good. Excellent. Do you, anybody else has a different idea, Fernando? Andresito, Kenya, Amelia, Telmita, Willem, Yoshi? No. Same idea. Yeah, the same idea. The same idea? Okay, that's cool. What about number three? One of your employees from the branch store had to defend himself against an aggressive customer. The social media is reporting the issue as a case of an aggressive employee attacking a customer. You know, that happens, guys, because we are human beings, right? We don't want to be treated bad, but there's a phrase that, uh, the, uh, that all the, co the, employee, the company says that the customer always has the reason, but sometimes it's not, okay? And we are human beings, of course, we have to provide a good customer service, but imagine that this customer was aggressive, the employee, and the employee defend himself. So what would you do in this situation? Because that, that media reported that the employee didn't do anything. The fault of this situation was the employee who attacked the customer but they did not project the whole as an area. So the, the, the customer attacked the employee and the employee defend himself. So what would you have done as a manager if you face the situation? Who can give me any ideas? Maybe first they have to call the police and uh -huh. give the a videotape if they have a camera, for example. Uh -huh. Security one, right? Uh -huh. For evidence, and uh, after that, you you have to communicate to the customers uh, to to how do you say aclarar los hechos to, cl to clarify to the clarify meetings. yes and maybe you 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 can uh, upload the, the the video even you can for example uh, upload the video but. Uh, the face of the customer you can borrow uh -huh. with a, an, an editor, but maybe that's that is a, a that is unnecessary. Uh -huh. You have you have to explain what where what were the, the facts and the, the, the details and that for example say the, the authorities are working on that and you support your employee because your employee doesn't didn't oh. didn't nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, that's, that's it. That's it. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good idea and a good way to handle it. Do you have anything else to uh, to uh, to give us an explanation? Kenya, William, Amelia, what do you think about the situation? Hey, guys, hey, I think that the ones, the agents in the call center have faced that, right? When you receive a call from an angry customer, right? You face that? Yes, but in the, well, in mm -hmm. like call centers, is difficult. I mean, because mm -hmm. you can uh, say anything really. I mean, you just need to hear and try to handle the, the situation. But it's hard because they told told you whatever they want. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, right. They just even like a stress out with you, right? Yeah. And after that, they say, I'm sorry, I know it's not your fault, but <laughs> and then, yeah, but they say that after they have uh, expressed and take out all their feelings, right, about the company. <laughs> yeah, so it is not easy, right? Because you are the face of the company that time. And you are a human being. But let me ask you guys, have you, have you passed through this situation before, William or Andresito? Jarvin, I don't know, Blanquita, Madeline, have you passed this situation before? Not you, but I mean, uh, somebody else, a co-worker of, the, um, of your enterprise? No? Mm, teacher, that happened when uh, in, in Facebook, I uh, uh -huh. saw some videos about Sarita. Who's Sarita? 
uh, the employee that attacked another person. Really? Uh, he was mm -hmm. wearing uh, the uniform of Sarita. And that ah. was, uh, the video was viral. Was viral? Yeah. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I, I didn't uh, watch it, but wow, that thing happens. So you see, that situation happens. These are real scenarios. Real situation that you can face it through. Alrighty, what about the last one? A hurricane has made it almost impossible for your employees to get to the company facilities. How would you resolve that situation? Okay, we, we are in El Salvador right now, guys, because we have a, a, um, a country that has a lot of volcanoes, right? It's really weird that we just face a hurricane, right? Like in the States. Of course, the states we face a hurricane that you cannot imagine. You don't want to be in the middle of it. You don't want it because it's horrible. I don't like them. But let's, let's not put hurricane. Let's put earthquakes that we're used to it, right? We're used to it. So imagine that there's like a strong earthquake and that uh, basically um, do not let the employees to arrive to the company, the facilities. So what will you do in that case? How will you resolve the problem? Uh huh. Joshi, Jesse, Matt, Talita. Look at the option. Like uh -huh. work from home is now really popular. Uh, uh -huh. Here in El Salvador, maybe we didn't, we didn't used to work from home because maybe we will we'll feel really where to work here. Uh -huh. and listen to family. Listen too much noise but now we are we are happy with that is we work yeah. from home i guess that we are yes <laughs> yes yes exactly yeah work from home will be one of a solution right but depends on what type of company it is right nowadays it, every company can work from home i remember when COVID started that is uh, um, this one, this company was making, um, what do you say, juicios? Judgments. Judgments. Judgments online, yes. Mm -hmm. The big thing was uh, in, like, in a video conference and also the lawyer and so the judges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Yeah, but mo most of the company, because, for example, the production area, I don't think they will be able to work from home. Depends, right? Depends of that of the, yeah, depends of the factory of basically the, the enterprise. But what you said is correct. Nowadays, most of the companies have the availability or the capability to work from home. But somebody say, oh, yes, work from home, but I don't have a computer. So what, what they do, what they can, what can they do for that? What uh, suppliers they can provide to their employees so they can do their jobs. Mm -hmm. Imagine that we are a company, guys, and we are facing an earthquake right now. And you are part of the Inglés Corporativo Academy. And you cannot come to the, to the academy site because of the earthquake, but you have to work. So, what do you think we as a company have to do to help you and to make you easy to do your job? Besides what Joshi said, stay from home. Uh-huh. Okay, we decided everybody will stay from home. Okay, cool. What else we need to do? What else we need to provide it to you in order for you to do your job correctly? What else? Computers, I mean, because computers, we, of course. Um, yeah, when we were in, on COVID, uh, the company provide us all the computers and the uh, CPU and CPUs. The other, CPU, yeah. And the, how do you say la, la cosita que, que tiene energía cuando se va la electricidad? UPS, right? Mm, yeah. UPS. The battery. The battery, battery. yeah. Yeah, the battery. Uh -huh, yeah, very like, good. Uh, uh, like a, I don't know how to say, like a. You can do it. Um, <laughs> uh, 
bonifi bonification. I don't know how do you say. It oh, for the... okay, okay. You mean yes. like a, like a monetary monetary uh, help? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. for a bonus, for... a monetary bonus. Yeah, for internet and mm -hmm. the um uh electricity. electricity. Yeah, uh -huh. because I mean it's extra. I mean we are uh providing this and it's extra, so. Uh huh. Yeah. We're using our own internet and we're using our own electricity, right? So we yeah. need like an extra bonus to pay for it. Uh huh. At the end of the month. Uh huh. That's a good one. What else? Good one. Very good job. What else we can do? If the employee has the her, her or him own computer, they have to provide the depreciation. How do you say depreciation? Depreciation. Uh huh. Depreciation to the to the equipment. Uh -huh, very good. So you see, we are thinking about the ways to solve it. Everything what you have said is really nice and is really useful. Very good job. Very good job. Anything else that you would like to add, Erwin, Delmita, William? I don't know. William, what do you think about what uh, your coworkers have said? Um. I was thinking about uh -huh. the first one. They the, could the third one or the fourth one? No, no, the fourth. The fourth one, oh, okay, cool. Uh -huh. They could work from home. And it depends uh, on what the company is. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, what is it for? Maybe not all the department, but most of them, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And if they're yeah, going to provide, example, uh -huh, go ahead. Yeah, for example, the production department is no different at uh, the administration. And it depends on the situation. Exactly. If they're going to provide the tools to do their job, for example, computers, they need to have the programs, right? That each department yeah. used. For example, the accounting department, they need to have Excel and everything that they're related to their job, because if not, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly. And also IT support, right? 24 seven, just in case something happens. And do you think guy, that should be like a program installed to communicate between supervisors, employees and coworkers in case something happens? You know what everybody have not said, and I come and I come up with idea. Uh, like, guys, remember that we have a, a WhatsApp team group? Yeah, because we can communicate between each other, right? So maybe the company also can, can create a WhatsApp team group, right? So they can communicate between them, between departments, maybe, maybe not like a company, but based, maybe based on departments, and they can communicate, right? all the information or if if the situation gets a little bit better they can say hey okay we're going to come back to the side they can just like it will be like internal communication between departments right and supervisors and employees that will be really nice and really useful what do you think we need to use the technology our company did that when the quarantine started. Really? And how how did it, does it work? Did it work? It was helpful. It was. Did you do that like as a company or as a as a group, as a team? As a team, yeah. As a team. Mm -hmm. So you were in communication with your supervisor, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do have it as well. I do have it here. I do have it as a WhatsApp, and I have, and we work with teams. Do you remember, do you, do you familiar with that uh, program, Teams? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we use that as well, Teams. It's really, really helpful. A lot. Very good. <gasps> Guys, we're almost done. Have you filled the time? No. Not really, right? Not no. really. It's really interesting what we have talked, right? We will speak a lot. Very good. Very good job, guys. All righty. So, uh, 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 um, you have any questions or any doubts related to what we have seen today? Anything that you would like to, to say or to share with us?
No, teacher, I just want to go home and go to sleep, please. <laughs> right? And you look at Willie's face like, how did you know, teacher, that I was thinking about that? How you came into my mind? Yeah. I think it, but you say it, teacher, right? <laughs> I know, guys, I know that you have been really tired, but I do really appreciate it that you do an extra effort to be here with us. All righty. Uh, um, uh, William, I'm going to stay with you today. So okay. I'm sorry, my man, but you gotta be with me like a couple of minutes more, okay? Okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye. Go and grab something to dinner or just take a nap, okay? Hugs and kisses. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye. No, you will. Bye. You gotta stay with me. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Erwin. <laughs> okay, William, how's your day going? So far, you good? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I'm you, good. you didn't know that I was about to ask you to stay, right? No. No, not really. oops. Well, but then, guy, you already have your dinner. I'll list you because my pop is yeah. in my one. <laughs> okay, tell me, how do you feel? And the class, how do you feel about the topics that we have already seen? Do you have any doubts or any questions about them? No, um, really, uh, I'm, I am learning. You're learning? Too much about this topic. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, sometimes uh, I don't know much about this topic and, and I'm learning, teacher. You're learning. You, you feel that you're learning. Yeah. Have you learned any vocabulary so far? Any new vocabulary for you? Um, I'm uh, for example, I I do sometimes um exercise with my, my using apps or watching videos. Uh huh. That's good. Yeah, I use uh an app. Uh, with lyric song. Ah, okay. And you have to complain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's good. Have you tried to search for some videos or some links that your book has it? No? no not really. So, not really? You can you try know. because those are really good ones. That will help you a yeah. lot. Tell me something. Do you feel that there is still an area that you would like to reinforce a little bit, like the speaking, the writing, the reading? Which one do you do you think you will need extra information? Uh, I think um, the whole areas. The whole areas. But... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Being honest, teacher. Because uh, I can understand more than I can speak. Uh huh. But you're uh -huh. doing good so right I... now. Okay, thanks. So far, so good. Oh. Yeah, you're doing your best, which is really good. And one of the things that you show that you are in every class. Sorry. You're in every class, so that you that shows your commitment to to learn. Yes. Don't matter if uh -huh. you're drinking yes. tea, you're eating like watermelon, that's okay. It's part, or you're chatting with your cousin, or with, yeah, or with your brother, <laughs> that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, but you're, or you're in the pitch. Yeah, I try, I try. Yeah, I know. And, and that shows your commitment. May I ask you, uh, do you feel that, uh, oh, well, uh, all the topics are you understand it, or there are some topics that you would like, like a little bit of string force. If there's any topic that you still have doubts, no, I think I understand the most. The most, okay. But um, mm -hmm. I read, and then I um, that's good. I read about the the topic what I studied. That's nice. That's and, really good. Um, that's that's a really yeah, good I thing to the, do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I try to um, 
to read about what are what are, what we are studying. For example, uh, the last hey, that's um, good. Class. Uh huh. Yeah, that's good. And then and do the the platform. Yeah, that's yeah. I have seen that. And congratulations, Willen. You're doing an amazing job. Very good yeah, job. It, I'm checking it, every single uh, day your progress. Uh huh. Me yeah, I think not. it is a way that we can improve, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's that's for sure. And tell me something. Do you have any feedback for me? Doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. I can take it. Any feedback no. for me? All the best for you. Tell me the truth. Come on. <laughs> no. Uh, um. I like you the the way you're. You like me? Come on. You teach. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like your energy and how to how to explain. You how like to my feel energy. The, the people in general. Yes, I always get yeah. a Red Bull every day. Ah, oh, no, just kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, imagine how I was when I was a little girl. Four of my mama, oh, right? Yeah. Four of my mama, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm already grown up and I still have that kind of energy. If you can, you cannot imagine how bunch of stories I have. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can imagine, but... Yes, especially getting into trouble, but... yes. Mm, the most common. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like eating a bottom, for example. Uh, uh, pinch my hand with a little like and uh, what else rolling down stairs eh, and things like that the most common things that can, oh that can happen to a child yeah <laughs> that, that yes and I still have in my, in my knee no it's not in my knee my leg some memories about those days yeah, that will but... never come back <laughs> yeah well so thank you so much for what you think about me i will try to do my best would you like me to slow down in speaking or it's fine no it's fine it's fine most of the time, it's fine. Most yeah. Of the time. okay <laughs> yeah yeah well you do not yeah. understand you just let me know and then slow down a little bit yeah uh, sometimes uh because of the vocabulary any vocabulary or sometimes i ah, okay or for example mm -hmm. it is not about the how it speed you speak ah, it is God. about the context of, the context yeah. the vocabulary i know they're mm -hmm. brand new for all of you especially because some of you work in a specific area but we're talking about a lot of areas right especially um, management area uh, there are some vocabulary or circumstances that are brand new for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. for example, uh, there are specific vocabulary and I don't know what, what are you talking about. And <laughs> I like what? Well, but when you don't uh -huh. know, just raise your hand or ask and we are more than welcome to clarify for you. Don't don't feel shy. Don't yeah, feel shy, after, okay? Yeah, never ask. After, uh, most of the time, I... I listen and I I have to figure. Okay, what that's are you? cool. What, uh -huh. you, what I'm talking about. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> I know, yeah. But that's why we're doing that. So you can increase your vocabulary. And when you're talking about something or when you would like to explain something, you will have tools and that vocabulary to do so. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. So you'll see. Mm -hmm. and, you're, and you will learn something new every day. Yeah. Today I show you a one a specific uh, expression, right? What was the expression about? You remember? Aha! Uh -huh. When you're stuck in traffic, how you say that? Rush. No, I, don't, uh -huh. I don't know, teacher. Cut in a rush, right? Remember that? Cut in a rush. When you're stuck yeah. in traffic yeah. and you cannot move forward and back. Yes. So you see, you will learn something new. Alrighty, it's time. I'm so happy that you took extra time for be with me in the one-on-one -on -one session. I would really appreciate it. Anytime that you need help or you have a doubt on that, just feel free. 
Okay? And send me a message. And I will, I'm, okay. I'm going to respond back as soon as possible. Okay? I know that you have to go to sleep. <laughs> so, hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night.